startling announcement today from Charlie Sheen. He told the Today Show he tested HIV positive four years ago. The 50-year-old actor insists he's always been upfront with intimate partners, but he's had unprotected sex and he was forced to pay millions to people threatening to make his health information public. Thanks for staying with us here at 430. Sheen's admission generating a fresh conversation about this virus. We do have a guest joining us to talk about HIV, Dr. Jack Ross. He's the chief of infectious diseases for Hartford Hospital. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having us here today. So this uh, virus was discovered in the 80s. It's called an epidemic. Where are we and is it contained in 2015? The epidemic continues worldwide and in the United States. Uh, we still have about 47,000 people in the United States who get infected and unfortunately there were over 2 million new cases in Sub-Saharan Africa uh, last year. Wow, all right. Well, Sheen said that he had uh, unprotected sex. He had told uh, his intimate partners again that he had the disease, but a lot of people were pretty stunned by that. In this day and age, is it hard to contract the disease with the medications that are out there? Actually, it's a great question. If somebody actually is HIV positive and they use condoms and they're taking medication, the risk is very, very low. Uh, in fact, you have about a, a reduction of almost 99% if the partner or if the patient is on medication and condoms are used. Yeah, and that brings uh, to the discussion of, you know, a or AIDS and HIV used to be viewed as a death sentence, but look at Magic Johnson. He was diagnosed at 32 years old and he just turned 56. What does that say about the medications that are out there today? The, ma the medications we have today are incredibly effective. They're much easier to take than what we had starting in 1996. And essentially you can have a near normal life expectancy if you take your medications today. Wow. All right. Well, researchers still working on a cure, a vaccine. Uh, you know, I think a total of, what did we have here, 39 million people have died since uh, this virus was discovered. It's a lot of people. Are we close to a vaccine or a cure? We aren't really close to a cure or a vaccine, but we have very, very effective medicines that are well tolerated. Uh, advice to anyone out there who may be struggling with this disease right now? Uh, my advice to them is you can have a, a life expectancy and a life similar to any of us today. You'll have to take one medicine a day. If you take your medicine, uh, you will do well. All right, a lot of good information from doc Dr. Jack Ross today with Hartford Hospital. Appreciate you being here. Thank you. All right, Lorenzo. All right, thank you, Jan. Thank you, Dr. Ross.